Good morning. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Good, Hi. how are you guys? Good. Good. Well, you know why we're here, right? Yeah, I like it. I like the palm trees. We have a gigantic three-car garage. Think of all the toys and family gadgets you can have in there. Come on in. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> I know, right? 1.39 million uh, for a house this size on a canal is absolutely within the normal standard here in Orange Beach. It's worth it, it's on the water. This has, Hunt's house has a lot to offer. Okay, so kitchen is on the second floor. Sure. Technically, so this is main, floor. The main floor. Okay, sure. yes. I probably changed the chairs, but the table's oh, the fine. The tops are nice. You know me, I'm gonna wanna change up the appliances. We're already at 1.39 million. You're not even getting a new paper towel holder. These are my dreams. Yes, exactly. They've got all wood slats on the walls. It's a little bay window. I like the uh, granite inlay and the accent wall and the ability to have a fireplace. This is a cool living room slash yeah. sunroom. I was expecting a little bit more for the price of 1.39. It's a little more dated. I was thinking that there would be something more modern, knowing that that's just gonna add dollar signs immediately. I'm not thrilled about it. I like how the many, sound of a lot of bedrooms. How many heads and beds does this hmm. home have? Minimum 14, but there could oh, be nice. room for Whoa. more. Wow. This is massive. I know it. I like the vaulted ceilings. I like the dual sinks, and it seems like right-sized countertops, if and you will. more white cabinetry for you. I like the size of this room, especially if it's going to be our room, but, yeah. like, the main thing I wanted was a view of the water. And right now I see everything but that. Down here to the right, we have two great guest rooms. And in the middle is an adjoining bathroom to that first bedroom over there. That is a deep shower, walking dual heads. It's a party shower. Yeah. <laughs> it's huge. Fun ping pong table. It's a good space to put your phones down and pay attention to one another and hang out. Then we enter into the fifth bedroom over here. It is very pretty. And nice. then, although it looks like a sunroom, they've set this up as, believe it or not, Another bedroom. You're going over the top. We can slow down on these bedrooms. <laughs> well, well, you're getting your bedroom count for sure. I'm thinking of yeah. getting rid of the bed altogether and making it a walk-in bar area. Let me point out something else, too. This generated $95,000 wow. in gross rental income last year. Take that right. into consideration. What I've wanted to show you since we got here. I like how tranquil it is out here. This is adorable. Would your kids not love this? Yes, probably too much. This is exactly what I'd want out of this. You got two boat slips, you got a fish cleaning station. For me, the canal's fine because I would like to add a boat someday as the kids get older. It's something that I can see us in the future spending a lot of time and building a lot of good family memories. Lauren and Lee have worked for years to buy a beach house on the Connecticut shore. But for Lee, that dream means a home literally on the sand. Right on the water. Bingo. Three bedroom, only one bath, which I am a little nervous about. So I need you to like hold back some excitement because it is seven ninety nine. Um, it's tight, nine hundred and sixty square feet, which I and you're saying it's would right. Would not have put on the list because of the square footage. Right on the water. Right on the water. Wow. I know. This is incredible. I know, but I feel like this looks like a beach shack. It doesn't even look like a house. I mean, the exterior is a little. Small. A little weathered. It's a little small, but I'm not focused on that right now. I think you're missing what I'm seeing over okay. here. You got a, a little deck slash dock. I know. It's all sand. All That's low sand. maintenance. <laughs> That's low maintenance. No lawn to mow. Are you going for a swim? I, not, not at this time of the year, but... <laughs> like, look at these views. Like, I feel like I would totally hang out here. Well, let's the go deck the... is looking a little... Um, Seen, it's seen better days, for Let's sure. Let's go check it out. Well, I mean, listen, this is like a great lunch spot. There is no privacy. Literally, you can see down the line everyone's deck. So if we have people over and we're entertaining and everyone else is, it's probably going to be loud. You can get those potted plants with the big grasses that grow. Right? Easy solution. But you get about four potted help with plants. Noise. I think if you fast forward and imagine yourself here sitting out in the summer and wanting to relax and wanting to hear the ocean and someone next door has a radio on or they're loud, like that's going to drive you nuts. Okay. 
I feel like it looks like a cabin at camp. Okay, <laughs> it's rustic. It's got the cool beam coming through. I feel like it needs a complete Your remote. eyes go sh straight no, to I the slider. I understand like that's where you want to be all the time, but uh, I really need you to shift the focus, look at the space yep. and look- Space like, is great. Really understand like all the cosmetic updates that I see. You more... love like the shiplap look, this so- This is not shiplap. This okay. is not shiplap. This is- Particle board Paneling that is like deteriorating. Floors, definitely. I mean, you can tally all this up. You know how much stuff this So stuff the floors costs. look like they're in good shape. We might just need to- Sand them no, down. No, sand redone keep a good, for sure. Like, it's open. Yeah, kitchen it's, is The like kitchen's not, white. It's white. The stove is like the smallest stove I've ever seen in my life. And then this refrigerator is... You can easily get a bigger stove. Is, yep. Like the, the configuration is right, really so, funky. You have to think when it is more than just us. Like, is yes. this adequate space for entertaining? For the two of us even, I think it's going to be a challenge. Especially in the main area of the house. The ceilings are super high, which I feel like makes the space look a lot larger. But it is not ideal. Like, this is cool. Wow. This is cool. Love the fact that this A-frame carries all the way through and they didn't frame. It's nice that there's furniture so you could see that you could put twin beds in for guests. Like I'm into that. Or this bedroom is like decent size, I will say. It's not bad. Yeah. The one bathroom, which is also my issue, is that a long time ago we lived with one bathroom, which was fine at the time, but now we're used to more bathrooms. I so know. this is like, this you is- You want more, more, more. I mean, this feels like a good size room. Um. So I feel like every bedroom, we know what we're getting ourselves into with the walls. Yeah. I feel like this is a good size bedroom. So this is a tiny little bedroom. I would make this probably an office space of yeah, some sort. I agree. An office Since we good. are, it's just gonna be hopefully just you and I like living here. That's the right? plan. I know you're you're blinded by the water, but can you just be practical so floors, with me here? Like a whole walls. overhaul though. Nothing structural though. With the one bathroom, we think it would be hard when we have guests, but there are definitely things that I could compromise on looking at the view, the price for the size, and what we would need to do is, I think it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money for this house. Naomi, Hi, it's how good to are see you? you? How are you? Good, welcome to the beach life. Jamie is fantastic. This is cute. It's, it's really, really pretty cool. And the wood, all the piers, everything's in good, good shape. Treated? Is the this wood treated? This is all treated pine, okay. yes. This particular home is on stilts. The reason it's good, this area does flood. Anytime you get a couple days of rain, literally being beside the ocean, that's a lot of water. It keeps everything off the ground. Oh, look at the view! Is it not amazing? You oh, can wow. see the ocean. Being third row back, because you have the public beach access that is just a minute, minute and a half walk, is super, super rentable. And look at what the this is sellers awesome. look like put up some nice new furniture that comes with this house. Oh, all it's furnished? It's yes, furnished. it's almost all awesome. completely furnished with new, a lot, a lot of new yeah. stuff, yeah. This is cute. Yes, look Jamie, what they've done. this is tiny. It, it, give it a second. Give it a second. This 960. That's literally all we need because it's so small. Well, <laughs> that's right. You're not going to need long. So although I totally agree it is small, it'll function for having six people. But I want you to take a yeah. look at the kitchen. All those appliances, everything's staying. Well, I wanted like the Key West, like bright, like coral vibes. This feels very light and airy. You want the Key West vibes? Mm-hmm. Take a paintbrush up. You yeah. just saved ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars not furnishing this thing. Yeah, I need to keep that in mind. Let's wow. go down and take a look at the bedrooms. This is the shared bathroom on the right. It's small. It's not updated. With it being small, it's not as expensive to renovate. Uh, that's true. Look at bedroom number one here. Okay. It's got bunk beds, so that's kind of cool. This is cute. This is perfect for kids, and the girls would love this. They would be fighting over who gets to the top bunk. I would be fighting too. Who would want me to the top it's bunk? It's cute. Let's go ahead and take a look at this second bedroom. It's big. What if I did double bunk beds and then I can get eight people in here? The more people you can rent. Yes and no. Remember, you've got already set up if you have the two bunk beds in there for younger people, right? right. You go double bunk beds in here, you're going to limit on adults. You're kind of limited probably on about six people comfortably yeah. in this space. Let's look at the primary bedroom. I like bedroom. that. It feels 
everything like goes together. Like the, sure. the, the paint is all the same. Yes. It flows really well. Well, this is a king size bed. It is. And you've got your own again. bathroom. Which is nice. This is what I envision. Now, again, it's small. While it's perfect for the girls and I, is this big enough for I think so, six yeah. Six plus people, yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. For who's going to rent it, it's going to be really solid. But it is completely rentable right this second. Right That's away. True. Yeah. Oh, It look drives at the right beach. up to the water. Oh, wow. That's and this would be cool. super cool. Today, they're in Tavernier on Key Largo, only seven minutes from his job, to see a small cottage that needs some work. Wow. This is much cuter than the pictures that we saw. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess. I think it's cuter, but... It definitely needs a little bit of freshening up. Tim. Hello, mister. How are you? This is my friend Moira. Hi. Moira, it's so nice to meet David, you. David, nice yeah, to meet you, nice too. Nice to meet you. It definitely has a historic vibe that I like. They call them a conch house back conch in the day. Conch house. A lot of these homes that are built in this area of Tavernier are from the 1930s and 40s. Oh, OK. Um, Tavernier Island is right here. It's one of the most historic areas. As a kid, I used to go out there in the 70s, and there was monkeys on the island. And really? Thing. That's very, oh, pretty cool. cool. Yeah, it's a very cool island. What a great front porch. All the blue keeps away the spirits, apparently. That's a what? southern thing. That's why he's wearing a shirt. How does blue wear I have spirits? no idea. OK. Just move on. <laughs> I don't know that one, but yeah. Come on in, take a look. OK. Oh, wow, how cute. The details are cool. Like, this is like an old Keys fishing cottage. Like, I love the ceilings. Marking the Keys is really hot. We're the Caribbean of the United States. And so there's really only a couple homes that even fit anything he's looking for. So the inventory is very light. The price may sound super steep, but in this area right now, that's what the houses are going for. I'm not going to get lost in here, that's for sure. How big is it? You know, it's about 600 square feet. So uh, almost $1,000 a square foot. Yep. And at 580000 I should be getting at least two bedrooms. But, uh, you know, location, location, location. That's kind of how it works here. I feel like the appliances are very much apartment grade. For weak water pressure. So, so water pressure, unfortunately, in the Keys is weak. Is that, uh, is that a normal thing? Yeah, our or water not from, is shipped sure. in from the Everglades, so we got a long way for it to come. That's so interesting. There's no dishwasher? No dishwasher. Looking at it, there's no place to put a dishwasher unless I redo the whole kitchen. It's not the top of my budget, but a kitchen is a big investment, so that's no, going to take some money. Hey, look, the living room's not bad. What do you think about this? This is, is very dark? shallow, and I have a very big television. I'm going to have to buy a new couch for sure. You need to buy a new couch anyway, because that couch is uncomfortable and disgusting, covered in dog hair. <laughs> so that's fine. We can figure that out. <laughs> I just worry there's no bedroom door. Oh, there's no bedroom door? I feel like that might be a privacy issue, lack of a door. Yeah, I totally think so. I mean, the wood's great. I think this is. And if it's, it's not sealed off, like there's no privacy. There is no privacy, unfortunately, which. Yeah, if, if I was like on the couch sleeping, like we'd be here just like, snoring all night long. That's true. And what bathroom, just one bathroom. Yeah, just the one bathroom that you're seeing. A lot of mixed, mismatched stuff happening. Paint colors, wood tones. Well, we can, you can paint, you can paint, but I'm not in love. I love the history of the house, but the functionality is lacking, especially like the storage. There's no closet. I have a bunch of hats. I, I have no place to store them now. It's going to take a lot for me to compromise, especially when it's the biggest purchase of my life and it's my last step in restarting my life over. This looks like a good space for the dogs. Yeah, David, is like, this all fenced in? Yes, it is. So yeah, everything Oh, it's you completely see, fenced yeah, in so they can't get anywhere? Yeah, so cool. that is, is this the washer and dryer? Uh, oh, the washer and dryer's outside. That's interesting. Yeah. Is that a normal thing for the keys? Um, some places, smaller like this. It's just, in general, it's very inconvenient to yes. have it outside. What is this thing? So this is an added bonus for you. OK, what is it? Bonus? This is a bonus. <laughs> what is it? Uh, well, this is a bonus to... from far and far from a okay, bonus, let me I say, must say. Let me say, there's a toilet out here. Did you know? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's cute. Home in the Florida Keys. Um, Lord, is that something normal? This is deserted well, island I'm not going to say this is normal, but okay. this is a surprise, Yikes, right? Yikes. And I would assume that's the rest of your bathroom. I mean, I actually like this. This feels very beachy. Like having an outside yeah, I mean, this shower. Is cool. it just I needs feel like to if be... you're coming off the beach, it's kind of nice to hose down and not bring all the sand into your house. You is did this, ask for a this, second bedroom. Is this a bedroom? Right? Well, I mean, it could oh, be. Oh, okay. look at that. Yeah. It's like a guest house, Mo. It's super cool. I mean, David, this is not normal for the Keys either. Yeah, I would it assume. just feels like a lot of little things put together Absolutely. to make a house. It's a little house. Like one thought. <laughs> but if, as far as I go, I'm not mad at this little space because it gives me distance from you.
You've hit the history part I love. It's close to the beach. It does have character. It's super quirky, but there's like, then there's too much quirk. I don't understand the thought process behind some things, but I guess that's kind of just. But I think we'll, we'll try and get some essentials though that you're looking for. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want something that's moving ready, probably a little bit bigger. Excited to see another place in Kihei. It is 1.495, which leaves us to the very top of the budget. That's a really expensive house. But it's a fully remodeled house, and it looks really great. We're just a short walk from the beach. It's going to be so nice. I already know it. Hey, oh. guys. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. So this is such a cool house. When you walk in, you're just going to die. All right. I <laughs> might die too. But <laughs> the wall is really cool. That's a it's an old uh, Hawaiian style rock wall hand built by the local artisans here. The neighbors are kind of close by us too, so I would like a you little know, more I space. You know, I was thinking that might be a problem, but what the cool part is, check out the dragon fruit over there. I do like that they're growing plants here. It's yeah. nice to have some neighbors with green thumbs. Wow. Oh. I picked this house because it's completely renovated. That kitchen is absolutely perfect for their business that they wear. They make the acai bowls. That's gonna be a big feature that they're gonna both agree on. I love the top. Definitely enough room. But just really contemporary look. Yeah. Great space for your prep with. Man, There's could, so much storage. You could increase your acai count to like hundreds and hundreds. <laughs> I now. guess so. We could oh probably gosh. have a few more people working yeah. with us finally. I love Time it. Time to expand. It's so yeah. remodeled and it yeah, looks so clean. Done. Everything Actually, is white. You just redid this whole house, which is so wow. nice. What about this space? This kind of feels like the style of what I grew up in, that the, the kitchen space and the living space is all just kind of one great room. So which is really I nice. do like the feel of that, yeah. You've got a split unit air conditioner over there. And then I think you might have noticed that there was a, a wall unit in there. But it's not hey. central. That's the only thing. So that's an issue. Well, and yep. that's something you could probably add down the road. So then you've got a bathroom right here. Wow, the same countertop says the kitchen. Counters are nice, but already I can see this tub is way too small for me. I would never fit in there. It'd be all little up like a baby or something. Yeah. Well, nice counter space at nice least. Nice counter space. At the end of the hall, we've got the three bedrooms. The AC, it's just really loud. That's the what you get when you get a wall unit. That's what it is. And carpet and key hay is it's yeah. so hot and you always get sand on yourself. And yeah, the carpet's that's, that is true. Change it out whenever you want. And then this is the primary bedroom, which is great, really big. I can tell it fits a king-size bed in here, which is what we really wanted. But I don't know, this is funky, kind of what's going on here with the way they got the, the bathroom set up. There's oh, not yeah. really privacy. Look at the tile, the tile is the so nice. Cool, yeah. It's so original. Check out that shower, it's pretty awesome. It does pass the Kyle test, but again, I would like a nice bathtub to soak in. I know. I just like at the end of the day for my self-care to be able to just like soak in a huge tub. This Kihei house doesn't really have a great bathroom for me, but I can tell Allison likes this house, so I'm open to considering it, but it's it's not my first choice. This is nice for entertaining. Yeah. I think there's some good succulent potential space in the gravel. Yeah, it'd be nice to have some fruit trees. I mean, it looks like the neighbors growing some stuff. This house doesn't really have a big yard but it's really in a great location in South Maui. Yep, so, Kihei. And when you see this deck up here, you're gonna understand why people have decks here. Look at that, ocean view. That is beautiful. Turn around and look at that. Oh, wow, Haleakala. Some of the most amazing views we have on this island are when the sun crests over Haleakala. In this house, you'll get sunrise from here and sunset from here. It's a pretty special spot. Yeah, it's cool to have an upper deck patio area. I could see us actually hanging out up here and having cocktails. I can make my special espresso martinis for my girlfriends. Oh, I was going to say pick me, but... Maybe you'll get invited too, Tom. <laughs> Great. Oh, the deck was yeah. so amazing. The views of Haleakala yeah. and the, the beach. The view is spectacular. The house, I think, is, is pretty good, but it doesn't really leave much space for a yard. The window ACs, I'm not really a fan of how loud they are. The carpet too, and in the bedrooms, and kind of the small bathtub. It's, I think, being here at a million five at the top of our price point, it's not like everything that we're really wanting. The location is exactly what I wanted. That's my favorite part of it, and I could really see myself moving in. 